Hi there, welcome back. So in this video now, we're going to talk about the other options or modules or <clears throat> solvers that you, you have available in Night File. So here we're going to talk about GDES model, now geometry design routine. And again, I would like to point out that here in the source code, you have this very nice file, xfold.txt. And so open here, you, you have a description, no general description. So I, I strongly invite you to read here. Okay, so you have very nice explanations. So for instance, go here, G this, and then you will have explanations, what, what they're doing, how to use it, if there is something particular or limitations, okay? So you have all the information there. Okay, so please read that 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 file so what i'm going to do is use a standard airfoil so let's say naka 2412 okay ppar so this is the airfoil that we have and i will use the g this module okay to modify this airfoil okay so i will do some crazy modifications change curvature a little bit add some bumps here and probably add some flaps here and slaps okay everything that is all those modifications are done in this model g this so you enter there geometry design and this is what you have okay you have your air for everything and always okay question mark there and then see that you have all the options available there are many options here okay you can get lost i will just go through the most important ones okay so the first one that i'm going to use is so always right here you have a description let me show you first this one Okay, so many people go right ahead and click here to modify the airfoil. I want to remind you also, optimizing, generating the airfoil is not an easy task. Okay, so I don't recommend you to do this manually. It's better to use an optimization uh, methods and parameterize everything. But let's use first the, the, this first option. Okay, by the way, also in the documentation, probably you have a better explanation of this, all, all, all these options. So Modi, and it's telling you that you can modify this airfoil manually. Okay, so see that manually means it's I like click here. Okay, you can do just one modification at a time, by the way. So you press done and see that it's doing this, it's adding this. Then let me do it again, modi. Okay, and if I do something like this, done, see that it's doing that. So as I say, one modification at a time. First this one and then this one. Otherwise, it's going to give you problems. So this is the first one. To generate an airflow like this is very tricky, but some people like to do that, okay? So let's say that, see that you have there two colors, okay? The purple white one is the original one. This is the, the one that you have in buffer, okay? So here, there is no undo, no, per se. It's called G set undo. So if you are not happy with this, what you do, G set, and you go back, okay, to already enough airflow. So let me do it again, Movi, and I will add one modification. This one here. Probably was too much. G set. Movi. Small one. A small bomb, like this. And you have it there. So let's say that I'm happy with this geometry. Okay, so see that this geometry is still is not in my buffer and I cannot use it. So you have options now to, 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 to start using that one. G set is undo, go back. Exit is to make it your current geometry. So if I type exit, now this is my current geometry. So see that eggful panel this one and now it's available. So if I go back, part see that now you have this there okay so you might wonder why do you want to add this and this is this bump here this is something that you might happen and always have in mind now that it's very complicated or for design and this is a case that can happen and it happens stuff like that for instance in an airplane when you have icing conditions so here you have ice accretion and this bump correspond to the ice in there and see that why I'm interested in doing something like this because maybe I want to model something that you have to take into account you now this ice creation defect in your in, in, in your aerodynamic performance. Okay, so you can go here, run your simulation, viscous small, alpha zero, and you have a solution. Okay, so we need to iterate more and see that this is small bone that might correspond to ice creation have this effect. Okay, so now you can 
go outside that bowl that so far that we have installed in our simple air so you can take into account that okay so this is just to show you that modification let me go back okay i already damaged this air so I, I need to go back now to, to to my geometry so it was uh 24 12 ppar okay the right geometry uh g this geometry design and now let's look at the other options now there is another one this one camber lines so there is something that you can see uh this are for half a, a mean camber line so we can visualize that somewhere here i don't recall let me see if it is somewhere one two 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 two, two. well probably i don't see it but in any case so if you type cam you see that it takes more options okay it's another set menu okay you have it here okay so this one the green one is the, is the camber line so we can modify that camber line so that camber line will affect everything in your airflow so it's the same idea you can modify so you have some options here so in particular i would play with this one mod c and again it will let me to click manually here boom 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 done and see that this is my new camber line okay so here i'm doing manually see that you have different options now you can read from a file okay so you can get that give that camber line so to apply this one also there is an option something here at so see that the red one actually is the camber line that we're modifying so i want to add this effect so see that here zero you are not adding any effect to the green one which is your camber line. So what you are modifying this one and you are going to add this behavior to the green line. So to add this one, you now use add and see that you added this effect and see what you have. This is horrible, okay. So I think clear, okay. G set, okay, I don't like it and you go back. Okay, so this is camber line. Okay, to stress this one, I don't recommend to do these modifications. That requires experience, no, you need to know what you're doing. However, the next, what I'm going to show you is the one I recommend you, okay? So we have seen for the theory that the, the, the position, the location of the maximal thickness has a strong influence. So that is easier to modify. So for instance, by default in this airfall, the CD4 is at 30%. So I can shift it backward. That means that I will have a longer favorable pressure gradient here and the same we can use with the maximum camber line okay you can just shift it backward or, or to, towards the leading edge it's up to you okay so this is a, an easier modification something that uh is is better to do this one than changing that, like that so see here that you have this option so you have high and t set so t set you can give new values for the maximum thickness and camber high is to move the position of the maximum value okay so let me first use high and look at that it's telling you maximum thickness this is the value and this is where it's located and now it's asking you where do you want so i would say that i want in 0 0.5 the maximum thickness and the camber i want it in the same point 0 0.4 and see what happens this is the new airfoil and see that now this is kind of a start to look to those laminar airfoils so that, that is the idea laminar airflow they have this maximum thickness now something about 50 percent so you can keep more laminar flow now in the, in the front in the nose section of your airfoil then you need to obviously modify a little bit here just to avoid some problems there but see that this is the idea so let's say that i'm happy with this airfoil and remember you have g set and x set, okay so i'm happy see that has been panel i go out p par and see that we have the airfoil here and let's run the simulation upper init okay alpha zero okay let me change iterations to 100 and let me go again in it alpha zero and this is your solution and see that now by moving shifting rearward this maximum sickness see that now we're maintaining a longer no fav favorable pressure gradient or here the flat cp in the upper surface now this is the strap for like distribution and see that 
Yeah, that small modification is, is much better than modifying the, pro, the, the airfoil manually. You can see do the same with the camber. You are going to have a scene. Uh, you, you are going to see the effect in the camber. Likely, you are going to see the a very strong effect here. Okay, in a moment. Okay, you are going to have a a, a, a largest <coughs> moment coefficient, but also you by a doing a good design of the airfoil you can reduce it okay so you can reduce the loading that you have here in the rear part and so on so this is it so see also that you have here now the, the those bubbles there here you will see the transition point okay you have those and probably in this case this is a little bit dangerous to have the the bubbles too close to the leading edge because this flow here can join together with this here and then you are going to have that immediate sep flow separation. So these are things that you should consider also designer or selecting the airfoil. Okay, so this is this case. Okay, so let's go back now to again to the standard airfoil and I still want to show you something else. Okay, so go here. So we play around here. T set will be the same. T set you can change the, the, the the maximum or thickness and camber just to show you here something so for instance let's say that i want an airfoil upside down interesting in study just why airplanes or can air airplanes fly upside down so you just need to change the airfoil and construct your new polar so let me use t set and t set just to put it upside down we just need negative curvature okay so let's say the thickness is the same and curvature i want 0 point minus 0 0.4 Okay, per, uh, okay, so remember that always you have G set, T set, okay. And so it's asking me maximum thickness is 0 0.12, okay, I was looking at the X location. And then maximum curvature is 0 minus 0 0.2. And see that now the airfoil is upside down. So if you are happy, X set, B par, and see that. And now just go upper and construct your polar. And you can see if it's possible to generate leaf with an upside down airfoil. Okay, so let me go back to the original airfoil. Okay, we have it there, G this. And the last thing that I want to show you is this command here, flap. So you, we can use it to add flaps to our geometry. So if I go here, flap, it will, uh, it will ask you a hinge location now. So remember the flap articulate around a hinge. So here we're not going to add the discontinuity. Okay, it will be a single airfoil, but it's going to deform now the shape. But it's a similar effect. So hip location, let's say that 0 0.8. And then X also will ask you. So look at X, I want the hinge here. Okay, so we will be zero. And the angle so positive is down negative upwards yes you have upwards flats as well okay so use it in gliders so let's say that i want 20 degrees and there you go okay so if you are happy with this exit and people are, and you have it there okay so let's say for instance that also i want to add a, a slaps or slops here okay so here's the nose will be nose, no, the droop nose. Let me add that. Always in this and it's that command, no, the, the flat command. So I will go flat. Okay, I want that one, for instance, at zero, one. Zero, one, zero. Deflection, I want 10 degrees. So see that is rotating everything, but around here, okay? So this is not properly what we wanted to do, but now what we can do is that another rotation of the whole domain by 10 degrees to put it in the, in the right position, okay? So I say that I'm happy with this. Okay, so the part, so see that you have this one, but we don't want it properly like this. Now I need to do a derotation by 10 degrees. And I go G this, and in GDS, we have that rotation. Let me see if I recall. It should be here. Uh, rotate. Rotate about origin. The origin is always zero, zero, zero here. Okay, so I will see, we'll say add deck. And I want to rotate by 10. Should be negative. 
minus 20 and that's it exit and this is it okay you have your slab here and the flap so remember flaps while changing the curvature by adding this device okay so but flaps will increase your it would shift upwards your your lift coefficient curve so let me go here so this curve here or probably this one will be better this this one will shift upwards okay will go up and then this last will increase the cl max okay this value okay so those are high lift devices so we have the combination here and we can run our our analysis okay nothing to do paneling is okay and you go upper okay in it alpha zero so see that in this case it's having problems to converge. Okay, so here it should be the paneling, probably the bunching here, it should be a chance, but it's, it's giving problems, okay? So, and I think in this case it will take like this, it will stay iterating, okay. So let me go in it and let me go bis in bis it, okay? And let me go alpha zero. Okay, so we have the in basic solution let me go here and using that we get so it's also possible in basic solution use that one to get your viscous and you have it here your effect okay so you see that we have that and see so here you can see separation there and now well will be to construct the polar okay this one will be tricky to construct i have to say okay but yeah you can control it manually you now in that way go in basic viscous Okay, minus two, minus four. Okay, this one. Okay, cool, it's working. If so I go to four, okay, now let me go to four. This one will be tricky. Okay, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm not in polar accumulation mode, so I'm not saving any of this stuff. So I go to 10 and see that 10 here. So drag is crazy high as you compare with the clean one, but cpv and here you have clearly your distribution everything and let me go alpha zero okay c cpv and see that as you recall the previous one now see the influence of this now high lift surfaces in your airflow so yep this is how you modify your your airflow okay in gdes you have all the options and again you can save you can run your polar save everything there is no problem and you can save now the airflow coordinates as well just to have this new coordinates you want then so we just explored this one uh just to stress now before ending that i don't recommend to do this manually or at least if you do it you need to have some level of experience know what you are doing and what is the effect of this mod each modification the easiest modification as i say is the one shifting rearward the maximum thickness okay that is the easiest one and usually have a good effect but then be careful as you do it manually. Okay, so that's all for this model. Next videos are going to address this one related to optimization or using those methods. So I will just going to be briefly there. And then I'll show you how to do some plotting. Now I will give you the this script in Python for those that are interested in Python. But remember, you can use it also in then. You can do it also in MATLAB or or Excel or new plot is up to you. Okay, that's all. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.